So here's Michael Knowles again at these universities, and this looks like this student self-owns herself during this video. Just shows you some of the lack of knowledge I think some of these these kids have in these schools. But Ben Shapiro, or I mean Michael Knowles and Ben Shapiro and others go to these schools and actually I think do a great job of educating them and giving them a dose of reality and not just sugarcoat a lot of the things that they think um, reality is. Let's take a listen. By saying I disagree with everything you say, <laughs> Black Lives Matter, stop Asian hate, and leave trans people alone. Here's my question: Why what did do you I say weaponize? about the Asians? I don't think I said anything about Asians. Listen to my question: Why okay. do you weaponize religion to justify your subjective opinions? How do you think I've done that? You say that God says, "Oh, there's men, there's a woman," and just leave that as that, like. You don't represent religion because we don't live in a country where you can be purely pure based on your religion. Like you sin, everyone sins, if we yeah. can understand that. So trying to weaponize that against people and try to limit their rights because of what you think God said, God didn't speak to you. You don't well, know, God does you speak to me, and he speaks to no, all of us, no, and we can read his no, word in the Bible, no, and we no, can go to church. No, no that, that no. is true. So what, what you're, you're uh, objecting to is that I've quoted the Bible, and I've said uh, right there in the early chapters of Genesis, in the beginning God made man, both male and female created he them. And you're saying, Michael, why would you weaponize religion that way? But what have I do? all I've done is just quoted the Bible, and I'd be happy to have a conversation about 2,000 years of church history on this subject, and I'm happy to have a conversation of, about even uh, pre-biblical or extra-biblical sources on it, on the hylomorphic nature of the human being. I'm happy to do that. Uh, that's not a weapon against any people. That's a weapon against falsehood. And so the, the only way in which I would turn religion into a weapon is against the devil, and that's what we all have to do, because religion is a habit of virtue that renders to God what he deserves. That's the meaning of the word religion. And so I'm just reading the text and I'm practicing the faith and I'm telling you what the faith has said for 2,000 years. And you might reject it, but I think that it's true. I think religion is true. And you might think that it's false and you might have a different set of beliefs, but one of us is, at the very most, one of us is going to be right. <laughs> and so at the, at the very least, one of us is going to be wrong. And I just happen to be correct about this. <laughs> You know, I I can respect I can respect the confidence, but it came out of it's just purely delusion. Okay, I I don't I think respect, I don't think Christianity. I respect delusional, I respect religions. I respect people's rights, but trying to limit someone's rights by saying, well, I believe that God said this, so I'm going to block you from doing this, like abortion. People get raped. People get incest, and it's crazy traumatic situations. And it's very hard for a human to ask a human, oh, keep that baby because God said to. Do you, that do you, is impossible. Do you, think it's hard to, do, you, do you think it's hard to ask someone, hey, don't murder an innocent person, even if you want to, even if that would be convenient? Because that's what we're saying about it. Because our fundamental beliefs are different. I don't think it's murder. I think it's that, that thing in the, in the baby, the, not the baby, but the uterus. You just said that it. Is not I, think, <laughs> I think you just admitted that I'm right. You accident, that's a called a Freudian slip. And I think you just okay, proved the chill, point. Okay, chill out, chill out. But the thing in the uterus is not a baby. That's what I was trying to say. It's yeah. just a clump of cells. It's a tumor. Okay. It's a, it's a tumor. And trying to be like, and trying to be like, it's a baby. It's we just have fundamentally different belief systems, and I don't believe that. No, I don't think it's murder. It's not murder. Right, it's but murder. but the baby in the unlike a tumor, say the baby in the womb. It has the DNA of an individual human being that's different from the DNA of the mother, and the baby in the womb has all the characteristics of human life, and the baby in the womb grows, at a very early stage, grows to take on the form of an individual human being, and the baby in the womb left unmurdered will grow into a full adult-sized human being just like you are. So that would seem to be a, a difference between the baby in the womb and the cancerous tumor. So you're saying, well, I just don't believe that, but you obviously do believe that because you just admitted it because you called the baby a baby. You just don't... You don't want to acknowledge that reality because it's inconvenient. And I'm not, I'm not denying that there are inconveniences in the world and there's suffering and there are, there are all sorts of difficult decisions that people have to make, but that doesn't mean that there isn't a right and a wrong answer. And it doesn't even mean that you don't know what it is because you've admitted that you know what it is. She doesn't even want to listen to him. She's got her opinions set. She basically owned herself by saying the baby in the, uh, and then she's like, oh, it's not a baby, it's a, it's, it's a tumor. I can't believe somebody would think that there's a tumor in somebody's, in a woman's belly. It's just a tumor growing. I mean, tumor is usually cancer. It's usually bad for your um, body. And so I can't imagine people actually, women actually think that there's a tumor 
lump of cells, whatever they call it. It's 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 a human life, and and if you kill it, you, you kill a human life. And I I don't think that any of these kids should understand it. They, she's talking about religion and and you know Christianity going on off and all this other stuff. And I don't think he's really talking about that. I think he's just basically coming down to the point where it is a man or a woman when when a baby is born and you go into the hospital the first thing the parents say is what is it what is it is it a is it a boy is it a girl that's it and there's no other explanation for it. it had nothing to do with god had nothing to do with religion had nothing to do with what's in the bible it's reality you pop that baby out the first thing you ask what is it and i think that's what he's trying to explain it's not really god it's saying it's it's just it's the reality of life and uh to me, it's these crazy. These kids are, are thinking some of these crazy thoughts of it's a tumor or it's a clump of cells or it's just nothing. And we can just board. It. It's not killing. It's and uh, but she self she self owned herself by saying it was a baby in there because that's what she understands what the reality is. It's, it's a fully grown person that's growing in this of there. But Michael Knowles does a good job of going to these schools, educating these young lads. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on all of this. Uh, you know, this video and what Michael Knowles is doing at these schools.